Hello, welcome to TechSemit. In this session, we will learn about job dig, and we will see what all commands we can use relate uh, to perform some operation on our job dig. Okay, so as we discuss uh, about the job queue, so job dig is the another thing that we need for submitting any job. So let's see what is job dig. So job dig is a method. or a process through which we can provide a uh, environment to our job like the if you want to execute your job into any particular environment with particular libraries and objects then you can set or create your job tree okay so basically job tree is used for setting your library list and for attaching some queues some custom queues that we have already created our own queue we can assign that to our new job tree fine now we will see if uh, if you want to create any job d so for that you have to run one command that is create crt job d so once you hit this command or take f4 it will allow you to specify the inputs but as we are using pub 400 account so we don't have authority on this system to create our own job d like as pub 400 is also not allowing us to create the library similarly it is not allowing us for creating the job tree but we can create job queue as we discussed and see in previous session but job we are uh, we are not able to create our job tree but they have provided one default job tree and job queue that we can use for perform for submitting the jobs and for uh, performing the batch debugging and all job related stuff so let's see how we can check that default default job tree so for that you have to use the command dsp job d and take f4 here you have to specify your job name so job d name so it it is mostly uh, referred as your username so i am passing it as sharmit and it resides in qgpl library so once you write sharmit that is my job d my default job d that is uh, named on my username and then library is qgpl qgpl once you hit enter it will show the display uh, it will display the job description so this is all uh, things that i have set or i have got for my job d so the priority for my job d is job priority is 5 job queue default job queue is sharmit which resides also in qgpl and other stuff are also set here so like here you can see the message logging details level severity and text and all the other information okay so basically when we take crt uh, job d command and take f4 so it uh, it will ask us for all these options so among these we can specify the job d name which we want to keep uh, for on which we want to create the job d and library in which we want to create the job d and also we can set these priority and other stuff so right now i am not able to show you that but if you are using some other system other than pub 400 then you can use that command and you can check by taking f4 and f1 and you can specify all those things so in that way we can create uh, job d and we can display the job d information fine so if you are if you are a uh, trying on pop 400 then you can uh, go with your username so for sure there will be a one job d and job queue created based on your username so you can check with the same command okay fine now suppose you have job d and you want to delete that then how we will delete that so uh, then for uh, same you can use the same command dlt job d as we do the same for job queue Uh, here just you need to change the queue with d and take a four now here you can put your job d name let's say my job d name is test d test d and my it resides in my library sharmit one so i will put these information and once i hit the uh, enter it will delete my object or my job d fine so in this way we can delete the job d so mainly in this session we discuss about three things like how we can create our own job d if you if we have authority second how we can see the uh, default job d description or uh, if you have create any other job d then also you can use the dsp job d command dsp job d
command then take f4 dsp job d then take f4 and put your job d name and library name then it will show you the description of your job d fine and if you want to delete your job d then you can use the dlt uh, dlt job d command through that you can delete your job d so if i conclude this session then in our previous session we discuss about the job queue concept and in this session we discuss about the job d concept so these are the two main thing that we need or we require for submitting any job so as we are using pub 400 account so we are not able to create our own job d but we can create our own job queue so but uh, pub 400 is providing one uh, job d and job queue for each user so we can use that for for uh, submitting any job or for uh, performing the batch debugging process and all the stuff okay so basically we discuss about the job d part in this session and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech channel